hey guys, go close. Do you want the newest models in, in Lake Nona Laureate Park? Well, stay tuned. I got something great to show you. Welcome back, this is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando Realtor, and today I have a special treat for you. We are here in some brand new construction in Orlando, Lake Nona, Laurier Park section. And what we have is a offering from David Weekly Homes, and this is the Cayman 2 floor plan, which is a three bedroom, two bathroom, half bath, two car garage, 1941 square feet, and the base price to be built home starts at the time of video at $564,990. Now that does not include the lot or options, but there are some inventory options in this floor plan. And then that will give you a price of $645,560. Now the difference between inventory and to be built is that obviously with inventory, the options have already been selected for you because it's further on in the build process. And obviously with to be built, you can design everything in your home Per your options all right guys so hit the subscribe and alert buttons down below and let's go on this tour hey guys so here we are in front of the Cayman here in Laurier Park and guys do I have to say more look at this beautiful home now it's sort of like a bungalow style home and I'm gonna show you that in a minute what I mean is that the garage is at the rear of the home but it's also separated there's an option to separate it so as we move forward to the home, uh, towards the Cayman 2, we have stairs right here in the front with landscaping on the sides. But I, the first thing I notice is the bricked off porch area, which is large. You can sit out here, you know, watch your pe people jog by, watch the cars come by, maybe a deer or two. We're really close to Osceola, so. <laughs> now, before we enter the home, we have all these glass slats on this modern door, right? Couple windows on each side and a GFCI here to support the lights and maybe a fan on this porch. Let's go inside and see the rest of this home. All right guys, so as we get in this home, I have to close the door because the heat is fighting us today and we cannot let it come in. <laughs> but guys, as we come in, first I wanna let you know that this is a highly upgraded model. So those beautiful, blonde wood floors are an upgrade, but we have our first flex room here, right? And we have a window here and here for natural lighting. It is a good size. It does flow with the entry of the home. Pam? It's yeah. 12 by eight. 12 by eight. So it's a good size for a desk, the, some st study area, maybe a little playroom for the kids, whatever you may want, right? Now on the right side, we have a linen closet, which Pam is going to show you. And after the linen closet or the coat closet. Yeah, I was going to say sweater closet. <laughs> yep. We have a half bath here. So we have a window in the half bath. Obviously we have the pendant lighting, the egg shaped mirror and the pedestal sink and our commode there on the right. And Pam is coming back out to the main trunk of the home. We have our stairs here that continue on with that tile going up the stairs. Very beautiful. With two windows, three windows actually three for windows natural up lighting there. up there. We're going to head up there in a minute. So I'll let you know what is up there. But as we crawl to, foot to see the rest of the first floor, I want to let you know there's a little notch out right here. So if you like books, you can put a little library, maybe a cooler because there is a plug there. Right? Doggy bed. A doggy bed. Yeah, whatever you may want. <laughs> now, moving forward, we do get to our laundry room here. Look, I love that little funky looking tile on the floor. We've seen that a couple times already, but it's really nice. So what they did here with the laundry room is that they moved Harry Potter out of his room. They kicked him out and they made it the laundry room. <laughs> yeah, well, it's right underneath the stairs. The stairs yeah. are right up here. Though. Yeah, that's... See. That's exactly why I said they kicked Harry out. Yeah. <laughs> now we have data panels here. We have the electric box and we have a security box up there, which is really cool. That is really nice to put away all your electrical needs. 
right? And then the home opens up a little bit here and we have our pantry here. And I do like how they run the towel right into the pantry, really nice. And the baseboards are more than five inches. But we do have our refrigerator here, right next to me, our refrigerator cubby. And Pam, you didn't notice, the island is different than the uh, regular Once cabinet. again, I failed. <laughs> so this is a dark brown, almost black colored cabinet. We also have our regular cabinets here on the bottom in that flag gray with the brass handles. 42 inch cabinets with the crown molding. There is a little space, but I look how they, you know, section it off. And this cabinet right here, look Pam, this is interesting. I like how they bumped it out and used all the space. Mm -hmm. so really well, from, nice. from this end of the counter to that end is 16 feet. 16 feet, and you know what else I love, right? Aside from the nice white quartz top, two windows to look outside while you're doing the dishes. A deep carbon sink. I did like the sink. Yeah, very nice, right? Then the picket fence, uh, like white tile all the way around. And even the sill is like, I you know it's wood, but it's it's nicely done. It looks Shorter very smooth. Edge. It is very smooth. And then we have, look at this small cabinet, right? For your oh, coffee cups. Cool. I call that the coffee cup cabinet. I would call that for spices. Sp okay, okay. Yeah, because I'm right. thinking the coffee might go in this little corner In that here. section? Yeah. All right. You know, you buy yours, you do I'll what you do. want. I buy mine, it's gonna be coffee cups. Okay, fine, <laughs> settled. So then here is the uh, five burner electric range. Now, awesome enough, big drawers. Look how big and These deep. These things are massive. Yeah, for those pots and pans. And not only do you got one, you have two. So great functionality in all the cabinets out here, right? You have another coffee cup cabinet. Okay. Maybe right. spice and coffee. Okay, we'll spice see. and coffee, okay. Look at this range though. Look at this uh, uh, top range. And it takes all the smells out. It's huge. Love that, right? Now we have another cabinet here with the crown molding, but here's your convection oven. And here is your regular oven, making it a gourmet kitchen, including that top range. And of course, we can't forget our little doggy friends here with the snack drawer on the bottom, all right? And the functionality of the island, of course, has all these drawers that are functional and panel around. So it won't be drywall down here. It has a texture look to it. Love that. Now guys, as we flow back, we do have our informal dining room right here, right? Where we were sitting, let me put that away. <laughs> hey, and I love the two windows here with natural lighting. You can fit six to seven, maybe even eight with the skinniest person being over here. <laughs> but you have a nice little eating area which is right parallel from the kitchen. So I do love the functionality. Now- And it's 12 by 10. Thank you for telling me. I was like ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, now I love the living room area. Now I'm gonna explain why. Not only does the uh, wood fold tile run through, right? We have the media area would, would be here, right? That TV should be a little bit bigger, but look at the ceiling guys. How big is a two story ceiling in this area, it makes it feel so much bigger. Airy, breezy design, six windows, giving all that natural light falling into the room. But the most interesting part, and number one in our options list, is that we have a pony wall from the upstairs loft type area or sitting area, right? What you can do with the option is turn it into railing so that it feels all open. This area, people can talk back and forth. Nobody has to look over and maybe fall over by mistake talking to each other. <laughs> so Yeah, I would extend it. I would do for the um, stairway as you come in, open that up. Open, open that, that up, up. Yeah. and open, yeah, I agree, 100%. Yeah. And the ceiling height's almost 20 feet. 20 feet on the ceiling height, that is amazing, guys. Now we have a back section here that I'm gonna show you in a minute, but I said, you know what, let's get into the fun areas of the house first, and this is the primary. Now the primary, I love it. It has that farmhouse look because it has a vaulted ceiling, right? Pam, did you measure the ceiling in here? The height? No, no, I just measured the room. All right, well, it's a little bit higher because of that peak and that beam in the middle, and I love how they did the fan, right? But the room size is what? 14 by 13. 14 by 13, king size bed fits so easily. We have two windows here for natural lighting, right? Nice knee height window, uh, window sill. So you have lots of window real estate with the transom window on top. Let's not forget that. 
which gives off the sense of the farmhouse bedroom because you got that transom, you have the vaulted ceiling, love it, right? Nice, large nightstands, nice and you got two port windows on each oh, side here, right? So guys, that is so much light coming into this room that, and I love how they shade, they put the shades because just if you wake up one day with a migraine, you can shut it down, <laughs> right? And oh, and this, the, whoever decorated this home, my kind of people. TV in the bedroom, hello. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> but guys, enough switching around. We have a door here that leads into your primary bath suite. We have a extra large vanity with the white quartz top. And then we have a window in the middle. Go ahead, Pam. And the counter is 11 feet long. 11, wow. Wow, and now we have that gray, flat gray cabinet following us from the kitchen. The difference is instead of brass handles, we have the black pools right here, right? And I think that matches this room better. They did a great job. Two mirrors and two pendant lightings for your vanities, which is really nice. And then black hardware. But then we have the grand shower, which is another upgrade option because usually the, you get a base shower, which is just the shower stall. So now I'm in your grand shower. We have the glass wall. We have our niche here. We have hardware here. We got a, a spray head here. And then we have the hexagon. Let me move out your way. Hexagon tiles on the floor, matching the subway tiles going all the way up to the ceiling the way it should be. Great job. They did a great job here. Now, as we move out of our car wash, we have a commode room here, right? And then uh, Pam is gonna pass me to show you the walk-in closet, right? And that walk-in closet is pretty big, pretty nice. Did you measure? No, I no. forgot. Uh-oh, Pam is on the boo-boo list again, guys. <laughs> All right, so we're walking through, right? And guys, I'm gonna do a little fast forward action. And we have a patio door on the side of the living room. And I'm gonna show you why. So we have our patio here. And it's a covered lanai patio. But that's not the best part. This is the best part. As soon as you get to the end here, you get on this little pathway. And we have a nice little door into our two-car garage. So I know there's a lot of echo here, but we have a nice two car garage and there's even windows on the garage side. So it's on the rear of the home. Let's open up this, uh, these garage doors. Now guys, you can really see the construction happening behind us, but this will be the alleyway street and how these homes are built where it has a rear loaded garage and your garbage will get picked up from the back side of the home, leaving the front of the home always nice, neat, and tidy. Now, I love that. Now, guys, just for instance, look at the size of these coach lights. My they're goodness, huge. they're <laughs> super huge. I was like, what is this, Christmas presents? Oh, yes. <laughs> they're huge, right? But no, that, that exterior of the home paint does match your garage, so it is uniform. It is a nice spot, but it's an awesome spot. I love it. Now, guys, come with me. Let's go back to the stairways of the home. So I'm gonna do a little fast forward action. All right, guys, so here we are at the stairs. We're gonna head upstairs now, show you the top floor, and as Pam is going up the stairs, I'm gonna let you know what we're close to. All right, guys, so as Pam is going up the stairs, we're about five minutes from Lake Nona Adventure Park. We are like five minutes from Publix. All these eateries are on Arcusi Road, 25 minutes from Disney, 15 minutes from MCO Airport, right? And much, much more with Sunbridge, Lake Nona, Laurier Park, Medical City, and more. All right, guys, so here we are in the upstairs loft. Now, remember where I said you can fall over, trying to call your friends over, hey, come upstairs? Well, this is the pony wall that looks over into your living room space below. Now guys, look at this pony wall for a second. Uh, Pam is gonna show it to you. This is the option that you can turn into a, a, a wood rail with iron rot um, bars. So that gives it a more open feel, I love that. Now guys, of course this is a loft area. You have your uh, TV here, 
coffee table, big couch, chairs, two windows for natural lighting, and the stairs coming up. How big is this space, Pam? 12 by 12. 12 by 12, good size. And of course, that forward tile runs upstairs as well. Now, if we head this way, our utility closet is tucked in the corner with our AC. Very nice. All right. And also, we have a service bathroom here for our secondary bedrooms. So we have the uh, tile about six, seven feet up, black hardware. We also have the vanity lights, mirror, and then there's the top, stone top and that gray cabinetry as well. Love it. Now, right next to the bathroom, we have a room facing the front side of the home. And what we have here is two windows for natural lighting, right? Full-size bed. Go ahead, Pam. We have another window over there. Yes, we do. So there's three windows for natural lighting. We have a nice stand there. That's a circular one. But here is your full-size bed and a little cadenza or table of sorts there. But we have a walk-in closet with a window. Another window. Yeah. And while you're going in there, Pam, how big is this room? 11 by 10. 11 by 10. Very nice. Now, as we come out, we're going to have another linen closet here. Pam is going to show that to you. Is no, that a linen closet? It is our water heater. It's the water heater. Look at that. Oh, that makes sense because I saw something in that closet for water. Well, at least you have hot water really fast upstairs. Yes, that's true. <laughs> now, guys, if you come in, we have another full-size bed. What is the size of this room? Also 11 by 10. 11 by 10. We have the window here for natural lighting, but we also have another, and I love the double door here, right? Half step in closet. Very nice. Guys, if you love the Cayman, right? This is the house for you. Then give me a call, 407-790-0929. Anthony Tata, your local Orlando real estate agent, helping you from all the way from Laurier Park to Palm Bay. Hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.